suffering and cross terrorist uh, uh, moderator. What is the in our own local language in Vanatal? What is the meaning of the word cross? Are you going where? you going where? Where you going? 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 So I don't really understand. These people they have come up again. They said we don't exist. Why are you vowing to crush us? We said we are going to stay in our houses. Are you? We are not protesting, for goodness sake. So, what's your take here? Uh, take to my moderator. You see, when I go, when I grow angry with this useless contraption called Nigeria, people will say I'm not patriotic. People will condemn my action. People will begin to call me names. One thing that makes me too bitter about the, the security agencies of this useless country and even the authority, the, 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 the presidency. Boko Haram has been killing a lot of people on daily basis. Flanese men. Eight. Now, are you not seeing the handwriting on the wall that the house of Flanese hates you with passion? They cannot crush the criminals in their soul. They cannot crush the, the murderers in their soul. So called hesmen. Have you ever had the security chief of the useless contractor called Nigeria have decided to crush or vow to crush hesmen? Killing people. Then, destroy the Why IPOB? People who are not moving with us. People who go about their no normal businesses. Only that they are agitating according to lay down principle in United Nations Chapter. Which majority of them are also Nigeria is a useless country. Nigeria is a sickness. Why yeah. would you like to crush innocent people? people? Unarmed people, innocent people, why would you vow to crush them? Useless zombies. Zombies who want to go walk unless you tell them. Why not vow to crush his men? No, the the the, eh? the in thing there is that they, they let them prepare, come to our houses. No, come on. Maybe you, you force them out. Uh, them. Or you are in the families and crush them. Mm -hmm. What is wrong with Nigerian security? Chain? What is wrong with Nigerian security operating? Are these people that are they not trained? Are they not civilized? Are they would they even emulate the, 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 the global presence with the global stability in the society? What is wrong with these animals? You want to destroy innocent people. Why your men are Going up about the country, killing people. You are not even about to crush them. Now you want to crush on after them because they simply say they want to express their feelings. Okay, you will kill them. You don't even want them to talk. You don't want them to express their feelings, their franchise. Are you God? Okay, you are about to kill people. Come down and kill people and let's watch and see animals, useless entities. You know why I don't take them serious because. Yesterday, we said it on this program, we got information from uh, Sambisa Forest. The soldiers there are crying. There is no way out for them to escape. That Boko Haram have surrounded the area, laid mines and bombs around where they are. No way to escape. Why not go there, all the security chiefs? And their battalion, their battalions. Why not go there and save those soldiers? They cannot go there. You know why? Because they said they are being trapped by Boko Haram. Who are the Boko Haram? The federal federal government of the, the federal government. So they will not go to kill their men. Rather, they will come down here to kill ordinary people. People they regard as infidels. Why not go and save those ones that are trapped now? Because majority of the soldiers that are being trapped are from this region. They are our brothers. They cannot save them. They know what they are doing. These people, they, they are grossly nepotic in whatever they do in the governance of this useless one. So, what, what, what's your advice to all their friends? Wherever you are. Wherever you are, remember. Once you are a Biafran, whether you are in diaspora or you are in Biafran land, one thing we want you to know, more especially in Biafran land, one thing we want you to know and realize as a fact is that. How suffering and Yoruba oligarchy, they hate you with passion. They don't want your generation to continue. They want to stagnate your generation. 
The earlier you have that into your thinking score, the better for you. These people hate you with passion. Now, for you now to reciprocate and show them that you have realized what they are doing, that you are, you are no longer at their side, sit, sit at home on 14th. On 14th. Let, 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 let us see whether they are going to come into your rooms yes. or the inner room. According to, their, and crush. Or according to their life, let me say. Whether they are coming to the inner room, inner room. <laughs> to drag it out yes. and crush it. They will come to my mother yes. and, crush mm. it. and crush me. And crush me. Let, let's let's see how the, how the drama goes. Okay, let's go to the other one. This, this one is coming from Guardian Newspapers. Said PDP pass vote of no confidence on INEC. INEC is the yeah. Independent National Electoral, electoral, electoral Commission. Well, if you are well, 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 electrical. Electrical. <laughs> okay. in, 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 in independent uh, Nigeria, Nigeria Electrical Commission. Now you are Independent. Nigeria is a company. Is a company. Is a is a company. Or is it a company? Owned by owned Abbas. Owned by somebody. It, it, group the, of the institution is not representing the interest of the majority of the, of the citizen, no? It, does, it, it doesn't do that. So they are representing a peculiar interest of a peculiar people. Yes. Understand the INEC. Uh, I N E C. Yes. INEC. Independent. Nigeria Electrical Company. And they are going to the PV. Easy, My mother, the presidential election or governorship mm -hmm. election, this, the same company owned by Kabams. My, my, my mother, you know, I was, I, was, I was surprised when I saw this piece. It's a surprising again. See, uh, surprised that the boys are not clapping for Bugari. Hey, you, 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 that reminds me. Do you know that I failed to clap this morning? I think the clap of the Buhari and the APC this morning. I think I'm yeah, yeah. letting you do my own clapping this morning. Clapping for Buhari and the APC, according to Omige. I, think, I, anyway, I, think, I don't think we have anything to do. Have, I, I, I have something to say. Okay, go ahead. I have something to say. Because I said I was surprised when I saw that in uh, 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 the National Day. I think that's uh, from, uh, from Gadi 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 yes. And I, I went into myself, I began to ask myself, why would BDP go extra mile? And I remember the, the election. Yes. Was there an election in the kitty? There was no election in the kitty. Then if there, if there wasn't an election in the kitty, so what is INEC doing? What is the, 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 the duty of INEC? Now that would go a long way to tell you that INEC is a, a family of bunch of criminals, bunch of idiots, uncivilized morons. You get me? So if you are really there, you say you are INEC, you are there to defend the interest of the entire citizen, why would you favor a particular political party? But come to think of it, what do you expect my mother done? When the, the boss of this, INEC... This, 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 this one concerns them. They zoom. Let's just... Uh, no, 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 you know what I want to say? Let, no, the world is watching. Let the world know what's happening in the zoom. So that they, will, they, will, they will sympathize with us when we are shitting, when we are crying. They will know why we are crying. Let the reason, have no uh, confidence on INEC. Uh, let the world know the reason why we are shitting. We don't want to belong to this world. That these people are not human beings. What about our politicians? They, the Southeast and South. We don't have politicians. We don't have politicians. Those ones are private. Uh, this was this PDP yeah. that vote no confidence on this. They are not there from Southeast though. No, it's the only the Arewas. The Arewas. You know they had no. a they had a town. They are they are what they had a town hall meeting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And was, they brought we, we watched the, we, we, we watched the movie now. It was on the only, uh, NTA. Only house of Flanes. Only one Igbo man. The one one in Flanes. I thought that one was Igbo man. No, they, maybe his name is. Um, Anybody can answer them. Okay. I forgot it. But he was on suit. At times, I think who will answer their name for them to be employed in the, the palace of our the military. Let's That's go to this one. Let's go to this one. This is very important. From Guardian newspaper again, 12 Igbo groups back IPOB on seat at home. Good morning to all the groups. Uh, let the, good, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. No more good nights. No more good nights. Uh, good morning, Chief. Yeah, yeah. All the 12 Igbo groups, like they had, um, they tried to blindfold some people with a tripod mm -hmm. and um, renegades mm -hmm. and uh, uh, Radio Biafra International, mm -hmm. Radio Buhari International and the rest and of them. Rest of them. And they've, they fell woefully. Uh -huh. Now. And the coalition. Who and the show? coalition. Mm -hmm. And the summit. Uh, the summit. Uh -huh. And the restructuring and summit. The summit. And they failed. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Now, they have realized their mistakes. These 12 Igbo groups backing indigenous people of Biafra on seat at home. So what's your take here? Tell you my moderator. When I saw that news, I was 
I was somehow happy. You know, do we know why? Yes, we should be happy. I, I was happy that uh, uh, Chukwuke Abiyama has started doing a great work in the midst of the Afghans. The work of unification, the work of having common understanding, understanding with each other. Yes, I think uh, this news now has gone a very well to tell those uh, infidels, the uncircumcised Muron in the northern part of the Zuko, Nigeria, that they will no longer keep on deceiving our people. That our people are coming to realization of facts and figures of issues concerning us. So I was very happy when I saw this. I think it's a very welcome development. Yes. And we thank you for that. We thank all of you, the 12, the 12 uh, groups backing us. And more people are coming. Our brethren in the River Rhine area, uh, Cross River, all over the place. We thank you for joining this struggle. More especially our women. Very, very formidable. There are new family units in Newport Town. Um, old people. Um, let, let, me, let me come. Igruta. Ikwere local government. Rumokoro. Ikoku. Old people. My one by railway. There are new IPOB units inaugurated three days ago. So I'm really very, very happy for our people. Yes. I'm more than happy. I'm more yes, than more than happy. Now we can see Things clearly. Are we can see clearly. Even them, even them. Even them. Our, our referendum message is moving down, down to the grassroots. Thank you, all of you, joining us this afternoon. Let's go and to also, I want to use this opportunity, my brother, my my. Moderator. I want to use this golden opportunity also to show appreciation, extend appreciational gratitude to Nigerian security chiefs for advertising our city at home wow. globally. Yeah. Exactly. Have not disseminating the information yes. globally. I thank them. I thank, I thank them very much. They have warned you. Don't come out of your house. Because we come out, they will shoot you. They will shoot you. They, they say they are going to release their soldiers, police, navy. You know, my brother. All I, what we mentioned here is security chiefs. Do you know that comprising navy, navy, um, road safety, road safety, and civil civil defense, SAS, SAS, mobile police, TSS, mobile, EFCC, military police, EFCC, soldier, soldier, not the police, police. All of them are. And I also learned that they are giving guns now to man of war and the scouts. So man of war, all the security apparatus. Whatever apparatus they will out apparatus. from town. All town. of them, they will be deployed into your homes, your ma villages, markets, churches, your streets to come and drag you out and shoot you. Yes. The only way you can be saved is to stay in your house. Bam. Even if it is possible, go into the inner room and stay. <laughs> <laughs> so like, I will not shoot you. Like we're in like, a, with the language we have. We, if we, you come out, they will shoot you. That's all. We we actually all the market leaders please shut down every market don't even call all the schools don't even open the gates yes. of the market make you open the gates of any market departmental shops schools church gates remain and closed can, 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 can. every market street market yes. street trading road trading road trading Nobody should come out because these people are very desperate. Yeah, 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 very, yeah. very desperate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take example of what happened at Afaru Kwipe, <laughs> at our leader's house. They shot even dogs. Dogs. Foul. Even pictures. I never knew that they wanted to eat talking. They shot talking. They shot any living thing. <laughs> so that is a very straight <laughs> point to you. Because if somebody comes to your house and shoot a dog, mm -hmm. talking. Okay. Five pictures. We have pictures. Pictures. Everything. Hang out your house. Uh, this is a baby toys. Toys that is to be sign boss. They shot everything. They shot everything. So exactly what they If they see you, they spare you. They will not. They are telling you now. If you come out on 14th September, three days to go. Three days now. Three days now. They will shoot you. Then teach you. Every market closed. 
Every street trader don't spawn out. Supermarkets don't spawn out. Even chemists closed. Hospitals closed. Nobody will go see that everybody will be hell ahead. Stay in your house. Buy us. All but your banks. Who do man and they buy and sell it? Who do now we pay? But we are going to stay. And now my now my dear, here as well. What can it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his life? Go and lose your life. If you like, go and lose your life because you want to get three thousand out of pocket. They are telling you. The the security chiefs are telling you if you come out, they will shoot you. And my brother, my dear, in the corner there, no problem. More they do. Yes, something came to me now. You know that. I mean, Georgian, I'm still considering the, the, the issue of security shift mm -hmm. in the project, I still want to talk on it. My, my moderator, you know that Obiano is the chief secretary of this state. Eh? Yes. Abola Osa of Imo State is the chief secretary of Imo State. Yes. The same is applicable to Imo State. Everybody said all the states in the old eastern region, they have chief security yes. as our own people. And there are these chiefs that are that, in this yeah, So, if anything happens to any of a Biafran on 14th of September, all the governors of all the East will be held responsible. Because they are the chief security of the region. Oh, how are they? It's a it's security chief. So, so, we don't know who are the security chiefs, whether they, they, the other is from their yeah, own. So, if, if anything happens to any Biafran on 14th, all these governors in our region must be held responsible. Let this information be passed to the world. Let the world know this. Let the world take note of this. Or that all the governors in East region, all the East region, they are the chief security of the state. Thank you, Conrad. Thank you, Conrad. Let's go to this one. Stay from Vanguard newspapers. President Muhammad Buhari to collect presidential nomination form today. President Muhammad Buhari um, is set to collect the presidential nomination form today. I don't know the, well, whichever Buhari, whether they include Buhari or the Sudanese. Or the lifeless or one. Or the lifeless one. Or the, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, that, that, I still want to attach to uh -huh. this Vanguard newspaper. Mm -hmm. um, okay, from Tribune, I want you to combine okay, it. Combine. Mm -hmm. Now, this one is coming from Tribune newspapers. It says, APC rejects invitation over Muhammad Buhari's participation in the presidential debate. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My moderator. See my submission here. Good. In as much no, as let's start from uh, the, I want to start from the national form. I want to start from the tribune. Okay, okay, go ahead. Let me start from the, the, the national tribune. They said APC rejects rejects invitation, invitation of Buhari's Buhari participation, participation which means APC doesn't want Buhari to go and participate in the debate in the debate when presidential when debate, when debate when which you know is highly highly imperative in this electoral process. Trump granted. Attended the debate. Yes. Good luck attended the debate. Yes. Why would Buhari be shying away from his responsibility? Why would he be running away from his which means he has skeleton in the cupboard? Yes. Now that's the reason why I said I will start my submission from this from this particular stand. Now, if APC doesn't want Buhari, whichever Buhari, what are the lifeless Buhari? Well, whichever one, you know, we have Buhari part one, part two, part two, and maybe we want to have part three this, this time around. So, whichever part of Buhari that they are talking about, that they, they want, they don't want him to participate in presidential debate. Now, all we are saying, you know, you are the cabal, you are really the country, the power belongs to you. But one thing we are appealing, if you don't want him to participate, that means that he is not legible to fight for that position. And but, in as much as you have said that it is device Osiban job that we participate. Then it is Osiban job that the world will know as presidential flag bearer of APC as long as your stand goes. And because of this, it is not Buhari now that will collect the nomination form today. Rather, it should must be Osiban job. Yes. So Osiban job now is the presidential flag bearer, okay. the presidential aspirant of APC as long as Nigeria is concerned. Because we don't know what are you hiding? Can you follow this? Or will you follow this? What is APC hiding? We don't want Buhari to participate in. Well, they have said it. What are you hiding from the world? What are you hiding from Nigerians? They have exposed themselves. Uh, yes, now, yes. By uh, objecting the yeah. president, yeah. Yeah. Attend, attend the president attending the presidential debate, debate. which means, which means something is uh, lifelessness, lifelessness. I think 
what is at stake here is well, lifelessness. Well, Let well, the, uh, yeah. Maybe one day we will be able to analyze and interpret this word lifeless. You know, it's a very compound word. Please, it means yeah. a lot of things. Let us talk to people who are watching us. If somebody said, my president will not participate in the debate where they will go ask him questions, Question. what do you do when he come back? You don't wipe away four years. Uh, People are crying. Uh -huh. And uh, they won't ask, Nigerians won't ask you a question. As you say, you won't come back second term. Why, within APCC and within Muhammad Buhari, whichever Buhari, mm. whether they part are one or part, part one or part two or part three, within they in mind, within you carry for mind, where you say, you know, go go participate for that debate because press go there, other parties go there. Nigerians, ask, Nigerians will vote them. Nigerians go there. People who want vote them go there to ask them. I know it's going to be a live program. Not, not doctor or, or stage manager. A live program. Live program. program. Be studio one. Every time they can have will be there. Anybody can ask questions eh, from every corner. Then my mother, look, look, they don't say the man will fit answer look, because he does not Look at how crafty this book. Uh, they are not crafty. This same book had a negative craftiness. No, negative craftiness. They are, they are criminals. <laughs> they are not crafty. Criminal. This same Buhari, you said, will not be attending presidential debate. Mm -hmm. Is the same Buhari that has been, according to you, traveling the whole world, but addressing... He just returned from China. Uh, he just returned from China. China. So if he could go to... He to US, if he could go to foreign countries and address and them, the press. and the press and that... Why is he afraid why, why, of, why is he afraid of the people he's love and his oh. What is that? You know, you know why I'm afraid of him? I'm afraid of him. 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 You know, Nigerians are very intelligent. Come out and face our questions. Yes. Come out and face the question of Nigeria. You know that Nigerians are very, 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 very crafty. Okay, let's go to this one. Uh, this one is very funny. Um, from Tribune newspapers again, federal government, federal government to labor union, we are not prepared for the minimum wage. I don't think I have anything to offer here. That is their minimum wage. We it's have, not Biafra. We have, do, you know, do, you know, do you know why we have? But why must federal government reject this? Say they are not prepared. Why will for, we? Why will we? I mean, they, they want to pay some. They want to add money for workers up here. Mm. Why? Why? why federal government say no. They are not prepared. No, federal government say they are not prepared. Uh -huh. uh, they don't let every time they can have irrespective of vision the person is coming from. Once you are a civil servant, once you are a worker, whether in the public sector or in the government sector. You are involved. Our people are also involved because our people are still working for them for the time being. So that's more reason. The essence of us re reacting to this particular is to tell our people how grossly wicked Nigerian leaders are. If he brings up the issue of making increment now on allowances of the lawmakers or the ministers or the what whoever that is working with the government. Before you know, within a few weeks, the bill will be passed. That's why the allowances run in millions. It's, some of them collect 39 million. Minimum wage, a common man. Millions, man. If they are talking on this minimum wage, you think he's a. Okay. I'm Mr. 5,000. We don't have this. Now, nah, no, 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 let me no, 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 let's no, let's no, talk to Nigeria. Let's, let's talk to Nigeria. No, 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 you don't need it. You don't need it. We don't let's need open their eyes. Them. No, no, we don't need to advise them. They are wise. A senator receives 39 million naira on a monthly basis just to pay you 50,000 naira allowance. They told you they are not prepared for it. Now, for half an hour, man, a lawmaker can they receive 39 million. Do you know how much security vote is? Do you know? Do you know his security vote? Then who put down on to look for him, clap for him. If they call you out, you'll be shouting, shouting for them. This is the money. I know that. It's not you said how, how much? That's something million. That's nine million. A senator. A senator. Every month. Every month. And they will bring, they will give you five hundred. Go and stand in the sun. In the sun. Five hundred naira. One thousand. Two thousand. That's more reason why our leader, having looked at Nigeria, and said, if you say you are in Nigeria, two things are important. You either you are a monkey or you are a baboon. Like you are not a human being. Okay. Let's go to this one. Let's go to this one. 
Um, the family of our supreme leader, Mazinam Bekano, has fled the, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> the Swiss embassy in Abuja for allegedly denied visa to members of uh, our leader's family invited by United Nations to the 116th United Nations Human Rights Work Group. Do you know what this means? Uh, Let me just take it where they, 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 mm -hmm. they wrote it here. They said the family of uh, our Supreme Leader, Mazinam Bekano, has fled the Swiss Embassy in Abuja for allegedly denied visa to members of our leader's family invited by UN to 116th United Nations Human Rights Working Group on enforced and the involuntary disappearances as key witnesses to the mass murder committed by the security operatives in 2017. So, United Nations invited members of our, our leaders' um, family as uh, crime uh, witnesses to the, the murders on um, 14th day of uh, September last year, and they denied them visa that they should not partake or uh, attend that uh, uh, the call. Day. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's not the call. So, is they, 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 they were not traveling on a merriment or vacation or holiday. The United Nations invited they were, the family members. They were going to answer the call. They yes. Did it to them by United Nations. To yeah, answer exactly. a call from United Nations. Tell and us how Nigeria, this thing happened. What and Nigerian saw? government collaborated with Swiss government and denied them visa. visa. Can you see? This is why we are telling you Biafra is the only hope. Biafra is the only savior. IPOB stands for freedom, justice, equity. But my mind will to come to think of it. I think when we were growing up, there are these uh, overstatement we used to hear. They said that uh, white people are civilized people. Not all of them. <laughs> yeah. So which means uh, Switzerland they are not white people. They are not. They are like Africans, African monkeys. That's why they, 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 they take their money. Mm -hmm. All the money is stolen from our From oil. this particular thing that Swiss, happened, Swiss he Spanish. has gone a very long way to let me be convinced that Anybody who is from Switzerland is not civilized. He's an animal just like an Africa, just like Iran. Because, you know, uh, they said, best of the same feather. That's why right. they keep their yes. money. They are all money. the looters so in this country, if the, all their money is in If the government of Swiss could stoop too low to protect criminal Nigerian interests, which means they are as good as being the same with the Nigerians. So they are not civilized, they are not white people. You, you, you forget about the color, whatever they are speaking. They, they are not white people. They are, they are, they are, they are as, as uncivilized and as stupid as black people. You dare your country castigating black people, say that black people are not civilized, that they are stupid, they are like animals. Now, what have you expected? Are you not helping them? Are you not helping them? Are you not the same so people for them? them? More even stupid because the whole country is too much is expected. Look at United Nations invited members of the family to come and tell us, to come and tell them what actually happened. Mm -hmm. As witnesses, their family, and these people said they will not. If the, Swiss, the, if the Swiss embassy in Nigeria, who claims to be civilized, coming from a civilized world, can come into this country and be criminalized and be corrupt just like a black man, oh, so, is your, name, is, so is your name. So is your name. Is your corruption is also your idea. The, what example of life are you showing? Are you showing? I, 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 I am disappointed. I'm, we right. are highly disappointed in, 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 in Switzerland. Switzerland. We are highly disappointed in I know members we never of express much yeah. because of money, because of your interest in the Zuko Nigeria. You cannot even teach them a lesson. You cannot even educate them. You cannot even tell them how, how life should, what life should, should be. Well, I know that uh, the United Nations, they are watching us. Yeah, really? If, if they're not watching us, you will hear it. Yes. That shows you that there is something hidden. They, are, they don't want Water. to. Something they don't want the it. truth to come out. They don't want Why it. would Switzerland deny our leader's family visa, visa to, to attend a call given to them by United Nations? Which means they have skeleton in the cupboard. And why why is spending me much? As we as we if it is the the, 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 the activity of the zoo country, Nigerian country, the zoo, we are comfortable with that. But coming from a 
a people we 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 we, we have regard for as we people that are civilized. We, we look up to as people who are civilized. Could you imagine what a great disappointment? What a disappointment from from Switzerland. We are highly disappointed in you. You are encouraging evil in Africa. Okay. You are encouraging corruption in Africa. You are encouraging criminality in Africa. God will never forgive you. God must punish you. Okay, we punish you. Instead of you coming to help liberate the poor masses from the shackle of wickedness and evil of a black continent, you all are help, you are assisting. All I know is that the uh, United Nations, they have seen the truth in this matter. That actually, invasion took place in our leader's house. People were killed, people were abducted, house destroyed, everything they are destroyed. So, they and have seen it. If really United Nations is up and being, in whatever they claim to be doing, they should question the government of Switzerland. Why would their embassy? Oh my God. Why would the embassy in Nigeria refuse giving the, the, giving the family a visa? The, a family invited to your forum, Swiss embassy in Nigeria, denied them visa. So if United Nations is real up and doing as they used to say, they should query, they should question Switzerland for perpetrating such evil against humanity. If you are just joining us, this is, uh, today is Tuesday, the 11th September 2018, and this is a live broadcast. My name was again Karachu E.K. Dunukwono. There is a breaking news here. Buhari in Asorok is fake. This is coming from Sule Lamido. Sule Lamido is a elder statesman. He's one of the elders in, the, in Arua. The Arua. Yes. And uh, he's coming out now to say, to tell Nigerians that Buhari and Asorok is fake. So what's your take here? Uh, and this is coming from them, uh, not Biafrans, not Namikano himself. Thank you, my moderator. You see, when you were said breaking news, when you were reading the news, I was as comfortable as I, I normally be because there is no longer a news. The only thing I would tell Lamido is it? Uh, Lamido. Uh, Sule. Uh, Sule Lamido. Uh, good morning, sir, for waking up now. <laughs> for, uh, for, for seeing clearly, <laughs> clearly. Uh, the man uh, at Asorok and uh, is uh, uh, Is it not uh, what we, uh, our leader saw 2016. Many, 2016, many years ago, that we are just waking up today to say? It's not a surprise package to us. I can only tell uh, Lamido, good morning, sir. <laughs> uh, what are you telling the world? You see, a lot of issues are coming up from this zoo called Nigeria. Now, this man is saying Buhari in Asorok is fake. And, and Donald Trump said Buhari is lifeless. Buhari is lifeless. They should go and arrest Buhari. There's something I will, want, I will want the world to know. I don't want to be hearing anything again concerning his speech in Nigeria. Any day, security agency of the zoo called Nigeria touches any of Biafran, accusing him of hate speech, that individual is seeking for trouble. They are the masters because of hate speech. you are not the masters of hate speech. You are own son, Samuel J. Lamido. Sule Lamido. Sule Lamido. Has said it now. Sule Lamido has said it. Jerry can I say it now. I think so, you said, so, said it. All these, their son that said these things, did not commit hate speech. But assuming it's from eastern part of Nigeria now, you, you regard it as an incitement. It becomes an provocative incitement. Now they have just said, and you are comfortable, nothing is happening. Nobody is there, is being reactive over their statement. Anyway, come rain, come sunshine. We will be watching. But when they refuse the matter, the presidential. Debate, debate. Can they send the Osibanjo? Uh, Osibanjo, the commissioner, uh, Tereda, uh, whatever, yesterday uh, in Kanavia, now Taco, Money Market. Then, and he's going to sit for the presidential debate. Where are you? 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 Where then you are not even asking yourself a question. You are a lawyer, a legal luminary. You know legal activities of the world. Now, you are going to represent Buhari in presidential debate. But today, Buhari is going to collect presidential domination form. Why not you go and collect it? Why are you 
people being so crafty, so so deceitful. People that the, 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 the average Nigerian should be looking on to as mothers. You are full of disappointments. Let us see what happens. You go and represent him. why he goes to collect the nomination form. Who is okay. who? This one is very oh, important. Um, and father, they said, um, this country irritates me. Leave these people. They should go and die. How do you have more the the war of America in America. Are you pitying them? They should go to hell. I'm you know, already, already, already. Yeah, yeah, already. Yeah, already. Yeah, already. You know, once you once once you 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 are a citizen of Nigeria, you, you are, are in hell. You are in hell already. You are in hell. So you so have to go. People are going to ask you. People are just making blah blah blah. Hellfire, hellfire. Where is hellfire? Hellfire is the hellfire we know as long as. We are concerned. It's Nigeria. Nigeria. So once you, you exhaust your life by in Nigeria, you are going to own hell. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you are preaching own hell. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Boko Haram overran military base at Garu Garunda. Boko Haram overran military base at Garunda, killing many soldiers, looting all the arms and ammunition. <laughs> These are the the Boko Haram, they said they have defeated technically, drama, dramatically, dramatically, technically, spiritually, spiritually electrically, electrically, engineerically, transmission, transmission, transmission. Now, <laughs> the correct news is that Boko Haram overran military base, not even ambushing. They went to really? their base oh. and overran them, collect, loot all their arms and ammunition. That, my, my mm -hmm. brother, this Boko Haram of 18, are you sure these people are human beings? Are they not superhuman? They are not superhuman anymore. I'm not a human being. Ordinary, they are just the okay. They are deceiving themselves. I, 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 I believe you. I agree with you. I concur. How can? Now, how, many, how many? How many? How many are Boko Haram? Boko Haram, are they up to two battalions? That's why I don't. A battalion. That's the reason why I said one. I did not know superhuman. Let, let, let me ask you. A battalion is 1,000. One, I don't want 1,001 or 1,000. No, you may not be accurate, but you are not yeah, telling me. Yes, personally. I was, but I'm no more. But yeah, I, can, yeah. I can't uh, just yeah. remember again. So, so if a military base that has about three battalions in there, in the base, mm. how can 500 terrorists overrun you, kill, abduct many of them? You, we are saying the same thing. That's still more reasonable. I think I am aware of this thing you are saying. That's more reason why I are they superhuman or ordinary human being like a Nigerian army? You understand? No. Okay, I want to, I say, as I said before, I concur, I agree with your explanation. Let me stand on that particular explanation and advise the security chief. I come back to you. In as much as you have the, the way with that, the air front, you know, to crush IPOB on 14th of uh, September, that's why you can do that. I want to advise you to use the same strength, the same. Uh, uh, Whatever you have, me said to go and cross uh, Boko Haram. Why would you be run away from them? People of the same who are in the same business with you. You are military. They are military also because you carry gun. They carry gun, and they they they, they uh, are they, they are in hiding. If they are in hiding, and you, you are you, you are legit, you, you are legit, you are, you are you, uh, people back. You have the backing of your country. Yes, you are running away from people. You act terrorists and terrorists. Are, are you not a disgrace? You are a disgrace for military. Of course. All you know is to come down here and crush unarmed civilian. Once you see unarmed civilian, you begin to brag with your gun. Uh, you are a soldier. Why not go and these people that are disgracing you? Why not go and put no, a stop? Rescue you. Let's go, your men. You are just sitting there. He said, the day you swore an oath of allegiance in the military, you swore to defend the citizen. Are you not defending them? Are you killing them? What do you think you are being? Why we are telling the world for the world to know what people are passing through in Nigeria? That Nigeria is a hell. Okay, we have two items here. Crisis hits other states. Ohanez in Debo. Ohanez in Debo. As members. Sorry, let me. Okay, crisis hits other states. Ohanez in Debo. Accused members. Accused their president. Niamodo of pocketing the five million 
Let me just get it correctly. Mm. They say there is crisis in other states. Mm. Say or oh, is in Debo. They accuse Joy. the president of oh, Nyango mm. mm. for pocketing five million naira given to them by Governor Kezi Ibazu mm. to disrupt IPOB on 14 September. Mm. Oh, what are you doing? So, okay, so uh, uh, he gave Ohanes and Debo five million to share. Oh, you, you know, you know, I was going to share before. Listen, yeah, no, yeah, this no, wait. This crisis, uh, if we don't spend mm. this time, the man will not leave. No, you see, when I was attending a church there, you know, then <laughs> there this song we used to sing. At that moment, he said, "The yellow hobo gala, the 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 yellow
assemblies of God. You, you are a disgrace. Shame on you. Shame on you. And you are you are dining and whining with whoever and whoever that masterminded such an award is a disgrace to Christendom. Fools. What concerns the religion, church, with politics? You are conniving with Pharisees and Sadducees. But my, 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 my mother, do you know that there are some call it a day today this Tuesday broadcast uh, just before we go we want to remind us three days ahead as you can see here you see at home on 14th of September we have three days to go yeah my name is Kenneth Quigley no Pono thanking you for joining us today yeah we bless all of us yeah, 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 yeah. The friends and the lovers of freedom, I still remain they are your brother, comrade Tukuma Omunakwa Ubezunike. It's a pleasure having you in our midst. It's a pleasure having you listening to us today. Um, some other time, we'll come here again. Thank you. Thank you.